Report Jacob Sovaroff. He is live from Endeavor's Display in Exposition Park. Jacob, good morning to you. I was going to ask, are you ready to launch? But you're <laughs> always ready. You're always ready to go. Locked and loaded. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always down, Adrian. Hi, Lynette. How are you guys? It's good to see you. The Today Show this morning is going to be cannot miss, especially for people here in Southern California. Come with me. I want to show you something. This is the Space Shuttle Endeavor, and you might be wondering, where'd the logo go? Where's that mm -hmm. famous American flag? It's because it's been shrink-wrapped, basically, ah. to get it ready for this historic, unprecedented move from here at the California Science Center to basically just around the corner at the California Science Center, where this, the external fuel tank, the solid rocket boosters are all going to be positioned vertically in a one-of-a-kind exhibit you will not see anywhere else on planet Earth. And what you'll see this morning on the Today Show is that I get to go inside this thing, one of the last people ever to go inside it, uh, to actually sit in the flight deck and experience it for myself. It's extraordinary. I spent a lot of time talking to Jeff Rudolph, who runs the California Science Center here, has been spearheading this project for quite some time. Here's a little of what he has to say to me. Uh, I'm with the right guy to ask that question. It predated us. Should we head up? This is a vision that actually we had 30 years ago. We said the best way to display it would be a launch position. Not only the best position, but the most technically challenging position to possibly put it into. Absolutely true. So, Jeff Rudolph has been working on this. There are dozens of people who have been working on this in front of, behind the scenes, literally outside on the solid, uh, 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 the external fuel tank, I should say. I met some fine artists who were scrubbing it with a toothbrush. They are not leaving any stone unturned. Um, and it's going to be something very special for Los Angeles that people are going to remember for a long time to come. You'll only see it in L.A. You'll only see it this morning coming up on the Today Show. So I hope everybody sticks around. Oh my gosh, Jacob. So to see you inside, like yeah. you got to go inside the shuttle. Were you like a kid in the candy store? Do you just love this stuff? Like a, I was full geek mode. I, I have never, I really honestly have never experienced anything like it. And if you go on my Instagram, I, w I posted a video last night. Yeah. I was playing with the controls, the uh, <laughs> abort, return to launch site, go to the transatlantic <laughs> landing, playing with the joystick. A friend of mine that was over at my house last night said, should you really have been touching all of that stuff? And I said, don't ask me that question, dude. I just want to be happy in my happy place. Yeah, you uh, took advantage of that moment. Sure. So we course. talked about, you talked about the, 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 the challenge here, right? Uh, can you expand on that? I mean, how difficult? What is this undertaking all about? I mean, it's going to take quite some time. It's going to take a lot of people. I mean, it really is amazing what they're doing. We, we talked about it earlier. Is it being yeah. monumental? That's right, Adrian. And, and I think that the, the issue here is ultimately um, this is a piece of American history. It mm. weighs thousands and thousands of tons. The, the piece of equipment outside the, saw, uh, the, the external fuel tank, that giant orange thing, um, is 154 feet long. It's the largest part of the stack. So remember uh, in 2012 when the space shuttle came here on top of the 747 and they brought it through the streets of L.A. and ultimately uh, it ended up right here behind me. That was a, a, a feat of engineering of a different mm -hmm. sort. They had to make sure that it didn't touch trees, that it was able to go through the streets of Los Angeles. This is one where a, a crane is actually going to pick all of this stuff up. They've already started the process, and you'll see a little bit of it in the story, to actually stack it vertically as if it was in the launch position. Mm -hmm. And while there are other space shuttles uh, on display around the country, none of them will be a, a, in display in the launch position like they're doing here. And then, as I said, after everything is stacked vertically, they're going to build that museum around the stack itself mm. so that everything is contained inside. I don't think I'm giving away spoilers, but there's going to be a slide in the museum. You're going to have <laughs> wow. uh, observation decks. We're going to be able to see it from the top. It is going to be, uh, sorry for the cliche, it's going to be out of this world. It's going to be really extraordinary. <laughs> Can't wait. And then real quick before you go, Jacob, any idea of when this might be all good to go when we can check it out? Yeah, they say, hopefully, within the next couple of years, although they won't even give a firm date for when yeah. they're going to lift the external fuel tank or the space shuttle itself, because things like the wind could alter, actually, that part of the process. They say they hope to have it open within the next uh, couple of years. Like I know a lot of Los Angeles school children are going to be banging on the door for this thing to open. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and so will you. You will be right there with all the 7, 10, and 12-year-olds, right? <laughs> we'll be with you, too. We'll be at your side. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> All right, Austin. Thank you so much. See you on the so, show this morning, guys. It's so great to have you here. You can also see Jacob's full story this morning on the Today Show starting at 7 a.m. Uh, we're so glad that we got a sneak yeah. preview right here. All right, take care. Thank you.